repeated again and again and again. Do you know how lucky we are to get weather like this in early April and not, you know, not just a day, but a string of them together. It is very rare for that to happen, and I don't think it'll be as sunny the next couple of days, uh, but still we're getting nitpicky. It will be mild. It'll be calm. It will be dry. If you didn't have a chance to get outside and really enjoy the weather today, you've got another day tomorrow, even if it won't be quite as bright. So that dry stretch continues, which means we continue to have pollen problems and brush fire issues, and that'll really be the case here moving forward for the next week or so. The pollen issues will extend beyond that. We know it happens every year. You can get some temporary relief when you get a nice soaking rain, and it looks like we will get that on Sunday. And meanwhile, this is the reason why I tell you to be grateful. Even if we have a few more clouds in the sky, we can get this this time of year. It happened. 38 years ago today, April 6th to 7th, 1982. It just took this storm to send April of 1982 to the top of the charts, the top five list for the snowiest Aprils on record. 10 to 20 inches of snow for a lot of Connecticut. Hartford ended up getting about 14 inches of snow. So. Ah, makes it seem all the more better, right? 52 degrees in Waterbury, 59 the current temperature for the Hartford area. The wind has diminished a lot from what we were dealing with earlier today. I think this morning was still quite breezy, but the wind has really died off a lot since then. There's the storm, big ocean storm that is luckily leaving us alone. More often than not in April, those are the types of storms that are right over us, but it will start to bring a little bit more moisture in our direction as we head through the day tomorrow, which is one of the reasons why we're expecting a few more clouds. There there's also this disturbance that will bring some showers as close by as New York City. It looks like it will just miss us here in Connecticut, though. Mostly clear skies for tonight. Overnight lows right around the 40 degree mark. Tomorrow, a mix of sun and clouds, but once again, mild temperatures with highs in the mid to upper 60s inland. And I'm thinking anywhere between the upper 50s to mid 60s for the Connecticut shoreline as we head through the day tomorrow. I just wanted to show you again, occasionally we'll see the sunshine mix with clouds from time to time as we head through the day tomorrow at times kind of blocking out the sun and then it'll pop back out again and we'll see a similar setup for Thursday before it turns brighter heading into Friday. Again, I'm getting nitpicky. I'm not tracking any rain, so I'm doing these cloud cover forecasts, these detailed cloud cover forecasts. High temperatures on Thursday in the mid to upper 60s, close to 70 degrees in some areas. Taking a look at rain chances, there is a chance for a passing shower on Saturday, but right now it looks like a better shot for us getting showers or even a period of steadier rainfall heading into your Sunday. So that's going to be the next best chance that we have of maybe getting a little soaker here in the state. Chance for around a half an inch. That's what I mean by soaker. This is not going to be, you know, a big drenching rainfall, but enough that you'd want to move your plants inside for Sunday. We'll keep you posted on that. Some of those showers will linger into Monday, along with some briefly cooler temperatures just those two days, and then the temperature recovers after that. Jen.